COVID-19 pandemic presented a lot of challenges, including for a rural fire department in Arkansas that relies on volunteers. Two years later, though, the Floyd Romance Volunteer Fire Department is bouncing back with more help than ever before. Tell Lisa Hampton joining us now in the studio with more on this. Tell Lisa, how do they say they were able to overcome some of those challenges? Yeah, Bob and Laura officials with the department tell me they've been able to solve some of their issues by recruiting a team of people from different parts of the state, some from out of the state who moved to the area, all with the passion to help others. Volunteers are 100% transplants. None of them's from this community originally. When the pandemic hit, Tommy Simmons, assistant chief of the Floyd Romance Volunteer Fire Department, says it took time to find the right volunteers. For Chris Gambetta, he and his family moved from Las Vegas, Nevada last year, wanting to reflect the call for service. My wife and my two daughters, my oldest daughter is actually a lieutenant. My son is on the junior program. The Arkansas Department of Public Safety reports there are 1,003 fire departments in the state. 28 of those are fully paid. The remaining are either fully or partially volunteers. Simmons says trying to recruit volunteers in a rural area like White County can be difficult. Most people live in the country, but they work in town, so they commute to work. They can't make it back in time for a call. But gaining 20 firefighters and 12 certified emergency medical responders, they've seen a big change. September 1st of 2023 marked two years of 100% response rate, no missed calls. Trained to answer calls for fires, accidents, or medical services. There's got to be an inner calling inside of you that wants to, to be able to help out and be involved in something. And Simmons says even though they're in good shape right now, they're always looking for volunteers to step up. Reporting in the studio, I'm Tylisa Hampton. Back to you.